uh i had a call with a client yesterday and by the way i have taken his permission to share this so what happened was long story short this father he has this young uh young man of a son after spending money for college and everything else smart guy means not exceptional uh he has decided that he wants to move to dubai okay that's how the father got in touch with me so seeing my content about dubai so he wants to move to dubai to start from zero a uh, any career that pays him more money and whatever plans the father had has all gone down to the drain because his father had planned for him to be in india and uh, you know uh, you know kind of career path in india but now he wants to go to dubai now you might say what's the problem let him go to dubai well this is where the problem starts the reason why he wants to go to dubai is because he is in love with the girl young girl he is in love she is in love they both are in love okay and over the period of time no matter how hard the father has tried to put sense into him nothing has worked out <laughs> something that i don't blame him because when you're young and you're emotionally involved in something especially love like they say love in inverted commas try putting sense into a teenager or young adult nothing will work out and given the fact that this this young man never had a girlfriend this is his first so his true love you know that kind of thing so now he has decided uh, from india he'll come down to dubai so that he will start getting a job earn good money get quickly married married as soon as possible and start his family hmm good goal so the father told him see listen uh, father gave him advice you know the typical fatherly advice see son don't spoil your life marriage you can get married any time love is not going to run away be with her but no need to get married dubai you do not know uh, whatever the father tried for months and months and months all fallen deaf ears you know you have two years no came in from this year went out the other year so finally when his son was not listening to anything he had to seek help and that's where he came to me so what did i tell him before talking to him i told the father see listen you have paid me you want my advice it may not be to your liking he said no loy i i've watched your videos you talk common sense so i give up i can't do anything you just tell him what you have to i i just believe he needs to make his choice i said fine i said you don't want to hear what i have to say no loy just directly talk to him i'm just so fed up okay so i made sure the father was there son was there son anyway looked at me like hmm and who the fuck is this guy and why the fuck should i listen because i know for a fact his father must have tried not just me many other people so you know after exchanging pleasantries i have you your name and okay so i said uh, okay i've heard your father's version of it i would like to hear your version he didn't seem very willing he was like oh. he gives giving the sai whom man up i told him see listen I understand your expression you're trying to tell me you're fed up and frustrated that's why you're making all that sa oh. and you're you know moving your eyes and your head i said these childish expressions don't help i said i'm here with good intentions just listen with an open mind i'm not saying follow what i have to say just listen with an open mind maybe you will get one maybe one point of uh, wisdom that can help you and i said unlike what you are assuming even though your father has asked me to give you advice i'm not going to say what your father wants to hear neither do you know what i'm going to tell you 
but I can assure you, I have seen more life than you, and I have a perspective. And I said, I've done things which your father would never do, from being a playboy to having multiple women to making all the biggest mistakes in the world. So I'm not going to tell you, don't have a girlfriend or don't get married. He said, I married four times. So I have experience in that department also. So finally he was like, he kind of realized, okay, this guy I'm talking to is slightly different from my father. I was like, and I said, look at my face, man. <laughs> the tattoos that I, then he brightened up. Yeah, man, that was kind of cool. And I said, yeah, so tell me. So finally he decided to open up and uh, I don't want to get into the details, but he gave me his perspective and opinion and you know, whatever details in between, he, I could literally see his father cringing and I just kept quiet. I focused on him. After he told me everything, uh, the part which I can share with you is he wants to come to Dubai. He wants to start a new life and he wants to get married to his son. And then he said, so what do you advise? Are you? And before I could even advise, say anything, like, I know what you're going to say. You're going to tell me uh, marriage is too young and uh, you should not do this and Dubai is saying be with your father. I've heard it all. Some shit, you know, he was trying to get preachy with me, uh, too familiar. He's like, uh, I know what you're going to say and anyway, you can say it. So I told him, my dear boy, how do you know what I was going to say? Did I say it? He said, no. So why are you assuming? He's saying, no, because I know what you're going to say. Okay, what am I going to say? No, just that uh, I should not do this. I said, did I say it? He said, no. Don't assume. I said, okay, fine. Let's see what you're going to say. I go, okay. So I asked him to understand your goals are, I repeated what he said, A, B, C, D. I read from the paper because I was taking notes. These are your goals, right? He said, yeah. He said, very good. I said, I'm glad you have a very clear perspective. What are your goals? Congratulations. Most men don't have that. He's like, oh, interesting. I said, don't interrupt. Don't get too friendly with me. I'm not your friend and you're not at my level and you couldn't afford this call. But I'm having this call because your father paid. So shut the fuck up. Give me the respect that you should be giving. I don't care you respect your father or not. You're going to respect me when I talk to you. Because what I'm going to tell you will help you. Is that clear? Then he said, sorry, Loy. I said, no, sorry, sir. I ain't your bum chum buddy. Like you respect your dad, you'll respect your elders. He said, okay, sir. I said, then I moved on and I told him, very good, you have a goal. Brilliant. I said, and then I gave him the basics. I said, you need to choose which goal is most important, which anyway you said is Dubai. Okay, that's very great. Now you need to put it into action and you need to have a strategy. And I gave him all those basics and I told him to get to Dubai. You need to have a job, a sector. You need to make your resume. I gave him all those things. And then he was like, oh, this is a, I said, do you want to take down notes? He said, yeah, yeah. I said, go get a paper and pen. His father was quite, I just told his father, like, you know, relax. Because his father was wondering where this conversation was going. So I asked this guy, I said, these are all the actionable steps. Okay. I want you to do everything. He's very happy. Then I told him, now listen, you are taking the sacrifice and you're doing all the work. Now your girlfriend shouldn't be a princess. You're not going to be a simp. You're not going to be worshipping her and massaging her and taking care of her. She also has to take equal amount of responsibilities for your dream. It's a dream that both of you have, correct? He said, yeah. So I said, both of you will work together. So just as you're going to Dubai to start working, let her also try in Dubai while she's working here and studying. So both of you make your resumes, both of you work so you can both be together. So when I put it that way, both be together and live together and, and plan out your marriage, then he took interest. 
And I said step by step. So it's not just you getting out of your comfort zone. She also does the same. And don't just discuss with her. Discuss with her mother and father. I said, are they aware that you both want to get married? He's saying, no, they just know we are dating. No. I said, you go and speak to the mother and father about marriage. What if they are planning for somebody else? And he was like, no, no, no. I said, once again, you're assuming. You assumed what I was going to tell you, which is totally wrong. Again, you're assuming what her parents will do, which is totally wrong. And I said, if this girl truly loves you, she will tell the mother and father, I want to marry this guy. But if she doesn't have the guts to say that, she's taking you for a ride, boy. I said, I'm sure if I challenge you, you'll change your Facebook status as married to her, correct? I said, yeah, can she do that? He didn't, he just kept quiet. I said, showing dating is a different thing. You can change the person you're dating or girlfriend, boyfriend, click of a finger. By the time I could see the father slightly relaxed because he never thought of telling his son all this. And I said, look, and if she truly loves you and you truly love her, you should be comfortable letting her check your Facebook. Do you have anything to hide? He said, no, just my past. I said, she should also be comfortable giving you her password and showing transfer and total transfer because you have to trust each other. Tomorrow, man, you'll be having joint bank accounts. If you can't trust her with just your Facebook password, social media, what the fuck you can trust her with money? He was like, yeah. And I said, you both need to practice having a joint account and, you know, planning your expenses and your life together. So that way I put all the stuff, which is actually a fact. It's not me brainwashing him. In fact, if you were to watch this video, you'd know that. I told him practical stuff. So after giving him all this thing and a nice checklist, I told him, so very good. Now you have a blueprint what to do next and just decide when will you leave the house. Uh, means start going to Dubai because you can't get a job by being in India and applying in Dubai, you have to go to Dubai. So plan out when you will earn, save money and go to Dubai. And I, before he could say anything, I said, if you're really a man, you're not going to take money from your father to go as a trip. You want to marry her like a man, right? Earn your own money like a man. You want your father to feed your wife? Come on. So then he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he looked a little uncomfortable when I told him that. I said, your marriage, your honeymoon, your uh, romance, don't expect your father to... Then is she marrying you or is she marrying your father? I said, why will the woman respect you if you're taking money from your dad? to achieve your marriage goals with her. Be a man. You and her work together. Let her give you a little bit of monetary support you put in. So all that he said yes and finally after giving him all these statements, I told him, now leave. I will talk to your father. And he was like, sir, can I get in touch with you? No problem, get in touch, but these are my fees. So just make sure you can afford my fees because if you can, then I'm your coach, can't afford no. So he said, thank you, sir. I'll, I'll definitely, all that stuff he gave me. Okay. Then I looked at the father. Then he, the father told me, oh, Mr. Loy, I never thought of, of, I knew all these things, but I never thought of, I don't know why it didn't strike me to tell my son in this way. I told him, see, listen, in theory, love and I'll die for you. I love you. I'll be with you. You know, I can't live without it. All that is fine in theory. You should make, you know, the rubber should meet the road or you should walk your talk. If she truly loves him, go and introduce to the family and say, I want to marry this guy. You earn, pay 50% of your income to the joint dream. And when you do that, both of you save money together, then there is skin in the game. And if either person has doubt, or either person is not sure, the person who is not sure will back off. And I said, in this case, your son seems willing. She doesn't seem. Your son seems you know, ready to show bravado. She doesn't. And 
the biggest thing which I told him, when I made it clear that you don't need to fund your son's dream of marriage, education is different. I said, did you see his college? And he was like giggling and laughing. He was like, I said, don't lecture him anymore. Don't give him all this big theory advice. Tell him, I support you. Go and do what, whatever your heart has said, but you have to fund your own dream. Okay. Job in India, I can help you. Job abroad, I can't help you. So the father thanked me and then we had some more stuff to discuss, a few pleasantries and that was it. So this is how I coached and advised that young man and the father was very happy. The son did try to, you know, massage my ego a little bit, send me a nice glowing letter, which is private, can't share it with you. But he thanked me for it, okay, fine, whatever. And I sincerely, and this is not me playing mind games, I sincerely told him, I want you to succeed, prove the world wrong, prove your doubters wrong. But one final thing is, there are only two things that will happen, either this relationship will work or it will not. If it does work, congrats. Know that you have proved the world wrong. But if it doesn't work, just remember it's not the end of the world. Shit happens, we all go through it. Like remember, I told you, my mine was a fourth marriage. So, I've been through lots of ups and downs and plus, had more than 300 plus women. So you're a young man, you can get lots of women. So, but you've decided to commit yourself to this. So now work hard and do it by yourself. So that was it. So now you tell me the advice that I gave. Was it right? Was it wrong? How did you feel? Did you feel I tackled this issue with a logical way? Whether you are a parent or a young man, young man or woman, let me know your thoughts. And uh, if there's anything I left out, feel free to share. Because remember, talking anyone can talk. Theories anyone can give. Walk your talk. You should always walk your talk. When you walk your talk, that's where you'll realize. Why you guys are shouting, man? When you walk your talk, that's where you come to know. What you assume, what you say, what you believe. Can it really stand? the test of time or it cannot. So this is what I wanted to share with you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Good, bad, ugly. This is me signing off. You guys take care.